Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the day 11 of the admin series training. In this day, we'll talk about that configuration item and asset. So basically, we'll overview about that configuration item and asset because in details video present in my channel uh, for configuration item and asset management. So if you want to know more about the configuration item and then asset, you can go and check that playlist. But as a admin, what are the things you need to be understand as a configuration item and asset? We are going to talk about in this our today's class. So basically, first we have to understand that what is the configuration item. Configuration item is nothing but a tangible and intangible data. What does it mean by tangible and intangible data? Let's say that you are working for an organization or a organization. This is a, a organization and this organization, there are many uh, things present, right? For example, server, it may be physical or maybe uh, logical server, IP address, right? then we have a software so these all are tangible and intangible data right or maybe these might be touchable or might not be touchable for example software we cannot touch that right but it's a actually a um, application right similarly we have a server either it could be a virtual server or it could be a vm or maybe it's actually a physical server this all we call as a configuration item so if you see the definition it's simply saying that a ci represent an item under configuration management such as router, server, application, virtual machine, container or even an logical construct such as portfolio. So anything which is used in your organization we call as a configuration item. Now where this configuration item is used? So configuration item is a very important role into the service now and everywhere if you go back to our a service now you will be able to find out that configuration item let's see in the service now instance so this is our developer service now instance and in this instance we are doing some practice last few days so if you see here if we go back to that any module incident problem change i'm going for incident module so let's go back to the any module incident right so uh, why you are creating an incident because of some server some your laptop your desktop or something some operational things are not working right so some software is, which is not working because of some unplanned interruption happen and because of that you are trying to create a um, incident right maybe mouse is not working laptop is not working desktop is not working right so we all call that ci right and then if you see here under this incident you have a very important field called configuration item and where you can select the configuration item if you click the glass icon this is that this is the uh, uh, reference field we call that configuration item you can see it's pointing to the configuration item and if you see this configuration item and it is a reference field and this reference field is pointing to the cmdb ci table so which is nothing but a configuration item table so configuration item or the all the configuration item are present under cmdb ci table and it is being used for our uh, incident problem change let's go back to the problem module or change module so if i go back to the problem even if i go back to the change also everywhere we have a very important field that field called configuration item you can see under this problem we have a field called configuration item and here also you can select that particular field because whenever we are creating a problem whenever you are creating an incident we need to be sure or we need to be tell that which system or which um, you know which object have a issue like uh, my mouse have a issue my desktop have a issue router have a issue or server have a issue we need to be select that configuration item so that whoever is going to be fix that or whoever is going to resolve that issue it uh, they can understand that which configuration item you have selected even if you let's assume that uh, my instance is not working production instance is not working production instance the service the production instance itself a configuration item so we can select the production instance and then production instance some of the functionality is not working we can select that so now we understand that what is the configuration item and what is the importance of the configuration item now if we go back here uh, if you type that configuration under this configuration management module uh, all the configuration item will be there so if you type the configuration in the left navigation and if you scroll down there will be a module called configuration under this configuration all this configuration item is present so if i scroll down you can see we have a uh, application server we have a um, application services application server server all these are configuration item so let's say that if i open these application services so this is going to be uh, uh, open a 
child table. We discussed earlier in the video what is the child table. So these all are child table of the CMDB CI. So if I open that server, so these all are, you can see CMDB CI underscore server. So these all are child table of the CMDB CI. And if I open that here cluster, so these also open another um, table called CMDB CI cluster. So their parent table is the CMDB CI. So if you see here, um, we already discussed about that if we go back to the tables under this tables module, if I open this tables in a new window and then under this extended, if I search in the configuration item and hit enter, you will be able to find out that 136 tables are present to that. Uh, I mean, 136 table is getting extended from the configuration item. And these all are CI related cluster. You can see the cluster node, uh, cluster virtual IP, um, you know, database, data center. So these all are CI related or the CMDB CI related table and they are extending to that com uh, configuration item. And some of the table are extended from this table also like child to the child so this will be the grand parent table configuration item will be the grand parent table of some of the table so this way basically understand that configuration item or cmdb ci we call that cmdb ci if you simply open that cmdb underscore ci so this is a parent table under this parent table all the child table is there or this is the parent table and under the parent table we can see all the child uh, record a child class if i group by with the class right you will be able to find out that all these are uh, child classes so you can see uh, this aix server application application server java server cluster cluster node computer computer room database data center these all are the child table or child record because right now we are in the cmdb say parent table let's say that i am opening a computer so it will be open in a um, you will be able to find out that this is a different table cmdb ci computer this table is extending to the our parent table called cmdb ci table so you can see this is the computer table and uh, when i open to the list in the cmdb ci it is present because the cmdb ci is the parent so in the parent we can see all the child record or all the child table record and when you click that it will actually land to their child table or it will actually show that child table name by class name also you can identify you can see this class name also divide that which all are uh, you know um, about child table name also if you start with that um, you know configuration and scroll down right we have a one option called ci class manager using the ci class manager we can create any class or we can create any table of the child table of that uh, CMDB CI or we can see all the classes or all the child classes of the CMDB CI. So once we open that CI class manager, the first page will be looks, looks like that. And then if you click the open hierarchy, you will be able to find out that the top we have a configuration item. And if we open that, this configuration item have these uh, all our classes, you can see that um, you know that ATN load balancer portion, accessories, alliances, and then you can see these all are class. And then configuration item under the configuration item you have a class called application. And application, if I open that, this application have another child class called .NET application Active Directory Services. So these are the child, uh, you know, classes. Top you can see the two nine five three. This two nine five three is nothing but the uh, number of record present to the parent table. So total record at that moment 2953 and each record have a different uh, or this is the total number of uh, parent record and then if you see here under this application there are 56 record is present right and then if we click here any of this for example i'm clicking any of these classes i can configure their classes there are many uh, configuration available to that cmdb ci uh, you should uh, uh, go and watch that in my cmdb ci playlist for more details about that but this is how we I'll call the configuration item now next thing is that asset cmdb ci or configuration item and the asset is a very close relationship because asset is like a, any object which is a physical present and then we have a uh, financial involves there then we call that asset in your left navigation if you type that asset let's say i'm typing asset once you type the asset you will be able to find out the module called asset under this asset you will be able to find out all the assets so let's say that your computer that's 
called the asset and then configuration item both. So your computer is an asset and uh, uh, configuration item both. So if you click that my asset, you will be able to find out any assets or any laptop or desktop which is assigned to my name will be visible here under this self-service module called my assets. And you can see uh, this is the my asset dashboard which will load that and which will be, which will be show some um, uh, you can see this asset or this computer is assigned to myself as a system administrator. I have uh, this, uh, you know, uh, desktop and these are the software ins installed in my systems. So even the software also is my asset. So it is showing these are the software which is installed in this computer. So these all are showing. So if I open this computer, so as I mentioned that your computer is a asset. So if I open this computer, uh, it have a detailed description about this my computer like uh, this is the computer this is the model this is the asset tag and this is I am using right now all right and this is assigned to this date and this is the install on this date and this all are demo data you can see and yeah that's all about we can get that about which company it is built location all these details we can find out Apart from this, uh, seeing your asset, you can see this all asset. If you click the all asset, all the assets related to this software, hardware. So basically assets is divided into the uh, various part, software asset, hardware asset. So for asset, uh, more information you can check also asset management in my video. But in a high level, assets is like a software, hardware, anything we, uh, we used in or which have involved that uh, finance, we call the asset. Now any license that's also an assets. You can see license assets. So these all are related to the asset. We can say that all the assets are CI, but not all the CI are assets. So this is the concept we maintain into the service now. So we, we talk about that, um, you know, configuration item or CI uh, and then asset, right? So what I'm talking about that all the assets is a CI, but all the CI is not an asset. So this is a concept we maintain into the service now. And then this CI or asset, normally there are many ways to discover or many ways to create this in service now instance. Normally we can create manually any uh, asset or CI, right? We can go to this asset module and click the new button here and then create that. That's a one step. Secondly, uh, we can use the discovery. So most of the organization, they use the discovery mechanism. Using the discovery, we can create that assets and then uh, CI. Maybe you uh, you don't know this, but I'm just giving you the highlight of this other terminology so that you are aware of that. So using the discovery, we can uh, create the asset. Next, we can through the integration, we can create the asset. Okay. And then also we can load the data through the Excel sheet. We can create our, um, through the Excel sheet, we can load the data and create the assets also. So this way we can basically create the um, asset and then CI. Um, uh, there are many other mechanism or other technique, but high level, we can normally, uh, normally whenever we are maintaining the CI, we do the manually, or maybe we can create discovery or integration or the data load. So this is Excel is nothing but data load. Using the data load, we can, uh, you know, create the asset and CI. And their relationships is a very important. So for example, if I open any configuration item, so let's say that I'm opening that any configuration item and let's say if I open any of these server, let's say I'm putting that any server name. So let's say that this is a server. So if I open this server, it maintains a relationship between each other. So this is a server. And then you can see we have a, under this CMDB say we have options called show dependency view. Using that, so a CI is not a dependent, right? So for example, you you are made using the laptop. Under this laptop, um, let's say that you are using the laptop. Under the laptop, you have a mouse, right? Keyboard. Then you have a CPU, then uh, there are software, a lot of software, right? And then you have some, um, you know, um, hardware, hardware, all these details, right? They are interrelated. So if we want to see that how, how their relationship is maintained, we can see through this dependency view. Just click there, uh, here, you can be able to find out the dependency. So this is the IP router. 
under this IP router there is another IP router, under this IP router there is another router, IP router and this is the cluster, right? So this cluster is maintaining these all IP router. So this way if we open any, any let's say that any uh, CI, for example, um, any computer if we open that, so this is maybe a computer, you can see, we'll be able to find out that what all software is installed under this, um, if they have, we have enough data. So for that, we don't have much data, but if we have enough data, we can understand that what all details or what are all software is installed. So basically this way we can know that how the systems or the software is related with each other. So that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.